What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today I want to speak to you guys about something that's been proposed to me a lot recently. Um, well, not really recently, but just during my time making or working on this channel. And that is a lot of people have asked me to launch an Esperanto guild. Now, that, although I would love to take part in an Esperanto guild, I generally just don't have the time to actually launch one myself. Because when you think about it, like, I come home from work... And then I make a video every day for this channel. And then after that, I'll have like maybe half an hour to like do other stuff. So I generally don't have the time to invest fully into a guild. Although I would love to join one and I would totally support one um, from this channel in any way I possibly can. But I can't do it myself. So in order to help you guys launch Esperanto guilds within World of Warcraft, I'm going to um, suggest that you all first just... Put down your battle tags, your name, your servers, maybe classes, down in the comments below of this YouTube video. And then from there, you'll be able to find each other by just looking at the comments. Now, hopefully then, we'll see like a cluster of people maybe on the same server. You might not even know that um, each of you are actually on that server. And we'll be able to build guilds from there. We might even have multiples. And then again, we might have like nothing. Who knows? It's, it's worth a shot. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, so yeah, just put your details down below. Now, the second thing is, obviously once you guys start chatting away with each other, you're going to want to use certain terminology. And I've already on this channel dealt with um, World of Warcraft a lot. I'm probably the only Esperanto World of Warcraft Let's Player. There's obviously a lot of you guys who play this game, but I'm the only Let's Player. So I think I'm, I'm probably the best person in order to establish kind of a, a standardization when it comes to the terminology of the game. Can this rogue get the fuck off of my ass? Jesus Christ. It's just on me like freaking sticky rice. Okay, I'm just going to heal up quickly. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is in my previous series of like... 20 plus videos that I've run um, on World of Warcraft. I've used certain words, but it's a teaching series. So obviously not all of you guys have gone out and watched it um, because you probably don't need to learn the language. So for those who haven't, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just give you a rundown on all the words that I've been using in the game. And then from there, we'll be able to have some form of standardization. Man, I am such a champ. I'm taking this like the, like the king I am. Oh, shivers. Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to die. Yeah, eat it, eat it. Ah! Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the three groups that you've got within this game. So you've got healers, DPS, and you've got tanks. Okay, so the word for healer is sanigisto, sanigisto. The word for tank is tankisto, tankisto. And then you have also the uh, DPS, and DPS is damagisto. I'm just going to quickly heal up my guys around here because they're taking a beating. Now, you, obviously you have classes, and the word for class is classo, okay? Now, the first class is, that I can think of is, uh, it's Hunter. Why am I thinking of it? I've got to written it down here. I'm not that pro. So, if, yeah, Hunter is chasisto. Then you have Rogue, and the word I use for Rogue is stelisto, stelisto, okay? Uh, then you have Mage, and the word for Mage is magiisto, magiisto. Uh, Paladin is cavalido. Oh, that sucks. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Ah, oh, not another rogue. Um, so, yeah, Paladin is Cavalido. Then you have uh, Warrior, which is Batalisto. Batalisto. Okay, cool. That guy's off my butt. Well, he's not really, but he's just not doing much damage. Okay, then you have uh, Death Knight, which is Mort Cavalido. Mort Cavalido. Then you have Monk, which is Monajo. And I love that word because it's got the, the H with the hat in it. You know, that letter that's like freaking disappearing from Esperanto. Yeah, I love that letter. So it's Monajo. Uh, next you have Priest, which is Pastro. Pastro. Um, then you have Warlock, which is Sorichisto. And Shaman, which is Shamano. Shamano. Let me just heal up my guy again. Uh, and then finally Druid, which is Druido. Druido. Okay, cool. Now we've covered the classes, we're going to talk about the different species that exist. Obviously, human is just simply homo. Next, we have... Okay, I'm going to protect this guy with my life. Next, we have um, dwarf, and dwarf is nano. Then you have gnome, which is gnomo. Uh, you have night elf, which is noctelfo. Uh, I'm just going to get on my mount so I can follow this guy and protect him. Next, we have Drenai. Now, this is the word I created, so it's got no historical backing, but like I said, I'm the only guy who does Let's Plays, so it's, it's all cool. Um, the word for Drenai is Dranio. 
Then you have Worgen, which is Home Lupo. Uh, you have Paladin, which is Cavalido. Uh, oh, sorry, I already said Paladin, and that's not a class. That's actually a... <laughs> Whatever, I'm just distracting myself. Pandarin is the word I wanted to say. And the word for Pandarin is Pandulo. Pandulo, okay? And next you have um, Orc, which is Otoko. Otoko, this rogue has got no chance. What are you trying to do, my friend? He's got like a healer and everything on him. Oh, no you don't. Oh, no you don't. <laughs> okay, next you have uh, Torin, which is Bovula. Then you have um, uh, Troll, which is Trollo. And you'll be using that word a lot because it's also the verb uh, for, you know, like uh, the slang meaning to troll. So, Netrolu, don't troll. Next you have um, Blood Elf, which is Sangelfo. And then you have Goblin, which is Koboldo. Which might cause a little bit of confusion because we have kobolds in this game, but whatever. So yeah, word for goblin is koboldo. Now, when you're talking about your level, say you're level 23, you, you use the word nivello, okay? However, when you're talking about a level within the game, like um, level as in location, why am I just standing here? You use the word levelo, and levelo is a created word. It was created by the Facebook group um, Terminoi Por uh, Video Ludoi. Um, that's a Facebook group I run of gamers, and we kind of came to an understanding that that will be the word for um, level as in the sense, you know, like a level within a game, not like the level that you are. Um, obviously, a lot of people are not going to be happy with that, but whatever. That's what I'm going with, and if you don't like it, too bad, you can you can eat that. You can eat it. Don't actually physically eat it, because that will hurt. Um, next, also, in the World of Warcraft, okay, you've got things that are, like, you've got instances and you've got dungeons, and then in other games you've got levels, and you've got all these freaking words in English, but I'm going to use for instances, dungeons, and levels the same word, and that's going to be levelo, okay? And the reason I'm going down that route is because generally in a game, if you use, uh, for instance, um, uh, if a game has a level, okay, it generally doesn't have dungeons, and if it's got, uh, for instance, uh, instances, it generally doesn't have levels. So it's not something that you can get mixed up very easy. So I'm just going to use, for all three of those words, the word Levelo. Um, you can use Labyrintho if you want, but to me, a Labyrintho really, it's not... I was going to almost speak Esperanto then. It's not suitable in this situation. Cool, awesome, I'm glad you're happy with that. Next, when you're talking about threat within a game, so you've got threat from the enemy, the word is Minazzo, Minazzo. Um, and if you want to heal someone, the verb is Sanigi. And finally, if you want to shield someone, the word is Shieldy. Now, if you want to join and um, us, just put down your details below, but you can also join the Facebook group Terminoi Pura Video Ludoi. And from there, we can create new words as needed, or we can come to a consensus about what words we should use. But yeah, that's the words I've been going with all this time, and I guess that's, that's a good base to work with from there. So that's pretty much it. If you've liked this video, give it a like, share it around with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, I'll find you in whatever freaking game you play. I will hunt you down, and I will do really, really bad things to your corpse. <laughs>